Hello again, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for August 5th, 2022. Hope y'all are having an excellent week out there in the financial markets, and as always, plenty to cover here in today's Outlook. And if you'd like to learn more about these predictive indicators, make sure you click on the link available in the description below and get a live demo learning exactly how this technology can help you throughout your trading week. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll start out here. We have shares of PayPal, we also got Tesla, NXP Semiconductors, Granger, Pulte Homes, and Vulcan Materials. So we've looked at several of these over the past several weeks and really just updating these forecasts so traders can understand how they can really exploit uh, these trading opportunities here. Now, starting out with shares of PayPal, what we have here is daily price action. So each one of these candles is representing a full and complete trading day. And right up against all that price data, you're gonna notice that there's a black line and a blue line right up against the price there. Now, what you see with that black line or that black value there is actually a simple moving average. So this is actually a very common technical indicator. And what it does is it's looking back over the previous 10 closes in this case, it'll add those all together, divide by 10, and that smooths out the existing price action, but it really acts as a baseline, letting us know where market prices have been over a given period of time. And because all of the data that constructs that indicator just comes from past close prices, it's always gonna lag behind what's already occurred in the marketplace. And so what we're able to do is actually compare that black lagging or simple moving average to this blue line or this blue value against the chart. And for that number to get plotted and charted for the trader every evening, this is where Vantage Point's technology of artificial neural networks is coming in and doing what's called intermarket analysis. So that means specifically for PayPal, Vantage Point has identified markets that are known to influence and drive future price movement. And what the technology is able to do is dig into those market relationships, learn whether those be lagging, leading, inverse, or positively correlated relationships, and it actually uses those market relationships to generate future price predictions. Now, it's gonna use markets like the S&P 500, it's gonna use ETF groups, but it's also gonna use very important things like the dollar index, global interest rates, global futures and commodity prices like gold, oil. So this is very important and what most traders aren't taking into account is how are things like the dollar affecting my portfolio? And if you don't have anything really behind the scenes handling that for you, you're probably gonna get constantly surprised by what you see in the marketplace. So starting out with PayPal, what we have is that blue line you see crossing above the black line and that suggests average prices are going to start moving higher. And therefore, as a trader, you'd want to look to go long, take profits on long positions, really connect that with your time frame and trading style. And you see here, shares of PayPal up 31% over the past 14 trading days. Now, that's just where that blue line crosses above the black line and taking us to where we are current day here. But you also have other indicators that can help you manage different problems within the trading day. So if you look at the very bottom of the chart, you'll see you have a bar that goes from green to red back to green. And this indicator is also derived via that technology of artificial neural networks, but they're tuned to solve a different problem. So while still looking at those intermarket relationships, what this indicator is actually able to predict with the extremely high level of accuracy, upwards of 80 plus percent, that's through earnings, Fed announcements, all this, uh, of short-term strength or weakness, right? So it can get this short-term strength or weakness right upwards of you know, essentially four out of five times. And you can tie that into the overall forecast. And you, you know, every week look at this and you see that it neural index goes bearish. You may get that weakness over the subsequent 48 hours of price action. But as long as that blue line remains above the black line, while well, we see trend is still up and we had a really nice week as a lot of these earnings came through and shares doing quite well. Now, here's shares of Tesla. We actually looked at this a couple weeks ago. Uh, and what we'd seen is this blue line crossing above the black line suggesting, hey, we've got a lot of markets actually starting to move into this uptrend. But specifically, if you wanna trade Tesla, you see that blue line holding above the black line for the duration here. But you'll notice that when that neural index goes bearish, you get that warning of short-term weakness within the uptrend over the next 48 hours, right? Uh, we have another blip here where you see it goes bearish, quickly gets uh, back up to green. And when you're using tools like this every single trading day to make those trading adjustments and understand, hey, do I wanna be long Tesla, short Tesla? Do I wanna take some profit? Well, here again, you see about a 31% rally, but 
every trader who's using vantage point is also provided a predicted high and a predicted low again before each and every trading day that occurs so what we can do is actually look back at those predictions on what you can think of as essentially an intraday time frame and we can see how accurate all of those predicted high and low levels are for the trader again provided before each and every trading day so the Tesla trader using vantage point understands that, well, look early on in this move, let's look for these markets to move down towards these predicted lows. We see all these days where if you have a limit order, you're gonna get filled at the open and keep using these tools to adjust and manage the position. So you even see during this week, getting that move down to the predicted low on a gap down and immediately starting to move higher over the past couple of trading days here. And you just see the amount of strength here from the neural index, highlighting those areas in the market where traders should look for opportunity. Uh, and so again, just really nice moves here. And it's just critically important to get in front of these things, get those positions on early. So you can really manage those effectively as the markets move forward. And when we go ahead and look at Pulte, which we looked at a couple of weeks ago, it really highlights how making those adjustments and understanding how to adapt to the situation is really critical. So moving on here, we have NXP semiconductors. And let's just take you know all of these tools and how we understand them. And we see that blue line crossing above the black line suggesting average prices are gonna start moving higher. You see that neural index, so that 48 hour indicator, letting you uh, know early about that short-term strength or weakness. You see that you get a blip here. You get a little bit of sideways price action over the subsequent 48 hours. Here again, you see neural index going bearish, running a little bit sideways for the past 48 hours here but the overall trend right still very much to the bullish side and we can look at those really fine-tuned predicted highs and lows and how might those have assisted as you're looking to manage these differing trading opportunities and you see really midweek this week uh, that being tuesday session they're getting that dip early on in the week and seeing strength play out since then and so if you want to ex you know really exploit that market strength through you know tech stock here like nxp semiconductors well you have all the tools before the trading day occurs to get ahead of that move and you see about a 21 percent rally here just over the past 19 trading days so we'll move forward exact same approach here shares of granger and this being a lot more recently but again you see that blue line crossing above the black line neural index bullish so again those are 48 hour forecasts moving forward and you see more recently that neural index getting bearish and you've seen shares run a little bit sideways here but what again traders need to understand is if you're a trend trader how do you recognize that shift in the market early really like you know you go back to last month mid-june looking at the apple charts and why we keep bringing that through because the forecast keeps signaling the trend is to the upside so here in granger you see about a 15.6 percent move to the upside in just the past 11 trading days and this is where all of these tools can help you recognize the shift but more importantly, day to day, help you with that trade management of knowing when to take profits, where to look at the lower part of this range. Um, but like I said, again, uh, just, just help you out. You know, you got about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, entries here as the market moves up about 15% just over the last 11 trading days. So uh, again, if you'd like to learn more about these indicators and these tools and how really, regardless of your trading strategy, you can find really the, the time frame and tools uh, to go ahead and help you, whether you're a day trader, short-term swing trader, uh, to really help you recognize the best trading opportunities in the marketplace. So make sure you go ahead and uh, click on that available link, get that live demonstration, and really learn how these tools are gonna help you. So uh, moving on, let's move over to Pulte here. And this is really interesting because we've had a very strong market and that's really been the highlight over the hot stocks outlook is we've got strength coming in here. We see it all over the place, whether it be Apple or Ford, Tesla, uh, building material companies. Uh, but here in Pulte Homes, we had this blue line crossing above the black line. And so that indicated that, all right, well, in the home building stocks, well, maybe you might want to look to go ahead and exploit the bullish side of the market here. But what we need to understand over the past couple of weeks is that while tech stocks and a lot of these other areas are doing quite well, well, there's been a shift here in Pulte. And so while the market advanced about 12% from that blue line crossing above the black line, you see more recently in a week where the market has done actually quite well, well, you actually have a bearish forecast here and almost exactly the opposite of what the broader markets have done. You see here actually getting a little bit of a rally there uh, early on in the week on Tuesday and uh, things moving lower here, right? So that early rally in the week uh, and shares off about 5% just over the past four trading days. So you see very plainly here that as far as going into the week, well, is Pulte in the home building stocks maybe where you wanna exploit those bullish opportunities or maybe you do wanna focus in 
maybe even within the capital goods space, but where those forecasts are looking strongest. So here's Vulcan Materials. We looked at this last week, and you can just see how strong the forecasts are as far as that blue line well above the black line. No uh, confusion there uh, as far as the overall trend direction. And then that short-term strength, you see the neural index down for one day, but very quickly uh, remaining bullish there and saying, look, you want to expect some movements to the bullish side here, at least over the next 48 hours. And there we see Vulcan doing quite well. Again, you've got a lot of earnings reports and things that are going to be coming through a period like this, but you see that regardless of the markets that you're trading through all of those earnings reports, you want to make sure that you're in the right areas, focused on the right things, uh, and really getting stuff like, you know, the home builders and things like that out of the way, um, at least in the short term here. So you see Vulcan Materials up about 16% uh, just over the past 21 trading days. But when we look very closely at this, just over the past week here, we can again look at these predicted highs and lows. And you see as all this volatility comes in, how effective these levels can be to say, okay, well, we didn't quite get down to these earlier predicted lows, but you're still getting a very good fill here uh, as far as the average prices you're gonna go ahead and get involved in if you're trying to uh, keep exploiting that bullish side of the market here. So uh, once again, we'll go ahead and leave it there for today. This has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for August 5th, 2022. Hope you've all had a great week in the market. We've certainly seen a really bullish period here, but we're also seeing volatility heat up. And this is especially important why you want to focus on really the markets that are trending and doing well uh, and adjust things, right? So when the market shifts and maybe an area where you've made a lot of money is now showing a bearish forecast, well, that's where you can go ahead and take that capital, divert it over to areas where the forecast is strong and still showing that the market is still trending or moving in the desired direction and be a much more uh, adaptable trade, really evolve with those changing market conditions because that's what trading is, is really recognizing these shifts in the marketplace, getting ahead of them, and making the most out of each and every trading opportunity. So once again, this has been the Hot Stocks Outlook for August 5th, 2022. Thank you all for watching. Best of luck and bye for now.